Deputy Meteorologist Tim Root with your KLEK 1 to 2.5 forecast. Stormy weather today and tonight. Clouds, showers, and thunderstorms, some locally severe, and the threat of tornado activity. 65 to 70 for the high, and the overnight temperature around 58, and gusty winds through tonight. Clouds and showers and thunderstorms will taper down to some sunshine Saturday. You'll be breezy, high Saturday, in the low 70s. Educate, entertain, and empower. We're KLEK 102.5 FM. From Feature Story News in London, I'm Oli Barrett. Ukraine says no Russian men aged between 16 and 60 will be able to enter the country while martial laws in place. G20 leaders are meeting in Argentina with tensions over Crimea and trade disputes at the forefront of officials' minds. The EU's moved a step closer to punishing Italy for a debt-expanding budget, and France has charged a high-ranking public servant with treason for allegedly supplying intelligence to North Korea. It's 901. KLEK LP Jonesboro, the voice of Arkansas Minority Advocacy Council. It's now time for Community Conversations, a program focusing on the people working to make the Jonesboro community a better place while offering viewpoints from all sides of the issues. The views expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of KLEK 102.5 FM, the Voice of Arkansas Minority Advocacy Council, or our underwriters or sponsors. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday to you. I hope that you're having a great start to your day. You're tuned in to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. Today is going to be another abbreviated show. My very special guest today is no stranger to you all. He is, does our Wednesday morning Bible study. That is Dr. Reverend Greg Ota. From, Good morning. Good morning from New Life Empowerment Ministries. It only took me two years to get that right without <laughs> <laughs> getting tongue tied. <laughs> How are you doing this I'm morning? I'm doing well. I'm doing well, Miss Miss Q. How so are we, you? I'm wonderful. Good. Um, so today we're going to be sharing, or you are going to be sharing, some wonderful, wonderful news about the ministry. Yes. Um, God has truly been looking out for you. Yes. Um, you started with humble beginnings, um, but I'm not going to take over. I'm going to let you tell. First, to give us some background on how New Life and Power Ministries got started, and then we'll build up to the wonderful news. <laughs> okay. Well, I uh, got called to ministry. Uh few years back, I was in Indiana when the call came, okay. but the call was attached to a job in uh, L.A. Darling, in Paragould, as the innovations manager. I did that for a few years, and then the job ended. Then it was time to do what God called me into Jonesboro to do. We started with the Bible study in 2008. Okay. At the then YMCA on Nettleton. I had a few a handful of students, my family, and a few other people used to come. And then uh, the YMCA sold the building to the city. And the city was re- revamping the building, so we couldn't stay there. We took the Bible study to my house. Okay. We stayed in the house for a while. Then we went to Sunset Gardens, owned by the Housing Authority. It's on the corner of Browns Lane and uh, Race Street. Okay. So we went there for a few years. Uh, we also have, we, we have a lab, we still have a lab. New Life Empowerment Development Centers is a product of New Life Empowerment Ministries. Okay. So the Housing Authority gave us a building on the north side of the city where we have our computer lab. So we started having services there for a little while. Then we had to leave there and go to the hotel. Okay. Now the hotel time is ending and we have this opportunity uh, that God laid on our feet, at our feet. That is amazing. Um, I remember when the Gansey shared the news. Well, no, first I saw it on Facebook. And I'm mm-hmm. like, this is really wonderful because I know personally you have been looking for a, a space mm-hmm. to call your own. Mm-hmm. And this one, totally God sent. <laughs> okay. Let me, for, the, for those that are listening... <laughs> Whether you believe in God or don't, you need to understand that when you get God involved, he's really involved. We had two opportun- two places we could have moved into just two weeks ago. Okay. And of course, as, our, as we learn from the Bible, if you're looking for answers, you fast. So we fasted. Uh, 
for a few days. Okay. The fresh one fell through. Because we told God, if it's not for us, don't uh, we don't want to go there. The first one fell through. The second one fell through just like that too. Wow. <laughs> in the same week. So here we are in a hotel. Two places we were supposed to go. This one gave us an ultimatum. We don't we don't obey man. We obey God. Okay. So he said, you got to sign this thing at this time with this month. No, no, we don't do that. This is God's church. Okay. This is not my church. So we disregarded that. The, the first one that fell through. Uh, there were conditions in there that we couldn't meet okay. or they couldn't meet but it just wasn't working so we left it alone the second one was financial and timing okay. okay let me explain it this way god created the heavens and the earth he's outside of time okay so if he gives you an assignment he gives you an assignment based on your own limitation okay. he's not going to give you he's not going to tell you to fly by yourself without giving you an airplane. Okay. That's why he created birds. So, but if a person comes to you and says, if you want to do this, I need you to fly. I need you to, to bark like a dog. <laughs> no. That's not of God. No. Especially if it's something God has assigned you to. So uh, these people were telling us, we agreed on an amount. When it was time to pay, they changed the amount. Oh. But then they gave us a time limit. You need to pay by 12. No. And you need to pay by money order or however they put it. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't do it. So we left it alone. Now, here's the kicker. The young man that got sent to offer us this church was in my neighborhood yesterday. Wow. <laughs> I happened to come outside and was talking to my middle child who was in a car accident the day before. Somebody hit her car at the front wheel, the wheel well, and the tires bent a little bit. Okay. So I came outside to see her off. And I said, you need to take this card to the shop. They need to align it. Let the insurance look at it. And this young man was across the street. Okay. Delivering a washing machine for his nephew. He heard my voice. He said, that's the voice I hear on the radio. <laughs> so <laughs> my daughter me leaves. I go get my little ladder because I needed to change my security light of my garage, by my garage. So I find my way up there and I'm fussing with this, I'm messing with that. And someone pulls up in my driveway. Okay. And he says, Pastor. Now, when you call me Pastor, you have to know me. Okay. Because I haven't been a pastor that long. <laughs> so he said, Pastor. So I turned around. He said, Where do you have your church? And I'm thinking it's somebody who's going to come to church. So I'm describing where it is. <laughs> so after I got home, Talking, I said, it's on Access Road. She said, he said, I know where it is. He said, but I have a church. It's paid for. Wow. That I would like you to look at. It's a small church. I don't care about small. He said, when can you come see it? Now, you got to hear this. I said, as soon as I get off this ladder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so I climbed down. When I finished what I was doing, of course, I'm up there praying, asking God if this is the one. So I get down the ladder and I wrote his number on my hand. Okay. Because when he gave me his address and number, I didn't have a piece of paper. I was on the little stool. I couldn't, couldn't jump down and get paper, so I wrote it on, on my hand. So when I got down, I got in my car and I went. He was there. Opened the church. Clean inside. Don't look anything like outside. Wow. Well. Outside looks like it's abandoned. Inside is beautiful. And I saw the pictures. They, it's amazing. Blew my mind. <laughs> He said, this is all yours. What? How much do we pay? He said, nothing. Can we pay the light bill? No. Can we pay for the loan to be mowed? No. God gave me this and he told me not to sell it. What? Amen. I was done. <laughs> Look, you had to start something up here this morning. <laughs> I was done. Now, further conversations, uh, I, I, was, I was useless yesterday. That's why I couldn't sleep. He said, I've been led. No, he didn't say he was led. People have asked to use this building, but he didn't sit right with me. But you, I need somebody to teach and preach the word of God. That's all I want from you. Can we pay something? No. That just goes to show when you are doing the work of God sincerely, you know. The, 
there's a there's a there's a there's a it, it's it's not my story. The young man, I called him before I got it. He said, "Don't don't give me no credit. Don't put my name in there. This is God." He said, "God gave me this property. I can't sell it. I have to give it away. You just come here and do your ministry. And if God tells me, I'll give it away. Whoever that is. Now, this is this is important, people." There are people out there who still hear from God. This guy left his nephew's house, went down the road, made a left turn, got on Harrisburg, and went all the way to the to the fire station. And God told him to turn around and go offer me the church. That's how he came around screeching in my driveway. I'm, who is, I've never seen him before. He had never seen me before. That is amazing. Wow. Um, well, walking around the property, and he showed me where everything is. Whatever you want to do, you can do. Are you sure you don't need me to sign something? No. I said, what if I write something and you sign? He said, I'll sign it. I'm not sure if I could get through with all of this. This is. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say God is truly amazing. I want to say good morning to Ms. Sheila Spencer Lane. She says congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and, um, Thank you. Good morning to everyone else out there that is watching and listening. Uh, good morning, Brother Bernard Cox. Um, this is absolutely amazing. So now you have this building. This is what you have been praying and fasting <laughs> for. <laughs> God answered your prayers. Yep. Um. When was in, your first service? In a, Sunday, December 2nd. So this weekend. This, this weekend. As <laughs> a matter of fact, when I live here, we're scrambling to put on uh, a screen. We're scrambling to put internet in the building so we can stream our services live. We're going to officially march into the building at 10.55. We have Sunday school at 10. It ends at 10.50. We'll line up outside at 10.51 okay. and march in at 10.55 and have service. That's amazing. Yep. Now, here, here's another kicker. The church, the way it is right now, doesn't need a pin in there. We, we don't even have to sweep to have service. That's how clean it is. Yes. Amen. We don't <laughs> even have to sweep or dust to move in there we could walk in there now with people i'll be up there preaching don't have to wipe the seats nothing we don't have to do anything Amen. when god has plans for someone he does things like this it's not about me it's about the young man he's using who will not take a penny it's it's unheard of these days, everybody's hung up on how much money they could make. People have offered him money, he said no. And here he comes, offering us this building. And we said, we're willing to pay. No, I don't want your money. I'm not interested in, can we pay a bit? No, don't pay any bit. Wow. So I, I don't know too many that I've met in this city that can have that kind of testimony about that guy. He's a young man too. He's got a long way to go. God is going to use him in this city. I'm telling you. He, he doesn't know me. Never well, met me. Never seen my face before. But he heard your voice. He heard my voice. And obviously he heard God through you as well. I hope. I, I, <laughs> praise God. Praise God. I didn't make myself. He made me. And he just, made him too. Well, that just goes to show how powerful your messages are. Even though, again... We talked about how you got started with the 15 minute Bible studies. Mm -hmm. And some people may think, oh, 15 minutes is not long enough. You know, you need long. But no, it doesn't take all that to get the. Word. I don't even preach long either. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you're doing is making an impact. And God, whether well, there's a message, and I'm not a minister, so I'm not even going to try to tackle it. But mm -hmm. I just know from a personal perspective. Mm -hmm. When you allow yourself to be used by God mm -hmm. and you allow him to position you mm -hmm. and you stay the course no matter how mm -hmm. hard it is. And I needed this because there's been some things that I've been dealing with personally mm -hmm. leading up to graduation. Mm -hmm. When I tell you the enemy has been riding me, mm. my emotions so hard. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and when I saw that on Facebook yesterday, it's like, okay, God, I know who you are. Amen. Amen. <laughs> 
a man. The the one of the one of the it's all right. It's all right. It's all right to cry sometimes. See, if you told me, if you told me 10, 20 years ago, I would be where I am. I would tell you it's impossible. If you told me 20 years ago I would quit smoking and drinking beer, I would tell you that's impossible. But here we are now. See, no matter what we see, it is not the truth. It might be the fact, but it's not the truth. <laughs> The truth is, God created you and I, and he could do anything in our lives. We just have to be available. We just have to believe him. You see, you didn't think, condition or no, situation or no, you'll be graduating. It, it doesn't, it, it, there's no way, if somebody wrote your story, where they'll get here and say, yeah, come on, then she graduated. How? Where did you get that from? How did that happen? There is a God that is alive and can do anything for his children. I didn't go asking. I was in my little corner praying. The Bible tells us to pray fast and pray in secret. Your father that sees in secret will reward you openly. Look at us now. Look at us now. People were asking us for money as deposit to go into a church. Now God gives us a building. You don't even, you don't pay deposit or rent or utilities. How, how, how do you get there? God, how do you get there? God. And just think of how many people are going to be blessed through your ministry. I mean, there are already so many that hear you on the radio station and with so many more people. You better cut that out because you're going to make me start crying. <laughs> You don't want to grow a grown man crying. <laughs> I'm just and I'm not gonna get into it because it's not about me today. But it's just this is just affirmation. Yeah. Seeing your story and mm. getting to know you over these past couple of years and seeing how diligent you have been because anyone else or someone else that didn't have your perseverance, your strength, your your wherewithal, they would have just given up and say, you know what? I'm not. This is not enough for me. You know, they would have stayed in the court. <laughs> yeah, there's there's something about people got, that God calls for real. There's something about people that God calls. We don't want to do it, but when we step into it, you can't stop us because the zeal of God takes over. Common sense. Leganzi joined us. Yeah, well, I was in the office and seeing Kobila get emotional, so I guess I figured I might need to step in and kind of not take over, but just kind of at least ensure the flow. But um, I can just personally say, you know, I've been with Reverend Ota since the beginning of the actual, not when New Life itself started, but when we actually became a church. church I, yeah. I was actually one of the first members to join. Mm -hmm. when we had our first <laughs> service March, um, I believe it was March 5th. March 5th, yep. March 5th 2017, mm -hmm. right before my surgery and you know i'm just thinking you know how far we've come we we're starting to laugh which if you've never been to our to uh, the new life empowerment lab it's basically an ha a house a regular three-bedroom house that mm -hmm. was actually gutted out renovated turned to a lab so we we started at a house and we went to a hotel room mm -hmm. and now we're going to a building and for those of you who have not seen by the way we need to give the address for those who want to attend service mm -hmm. it's um 3619 3619 mm -hmm. willow road that's 3619 willow road but if you go out there and look there is a lot of, there's like acres and acres of land surrounding mm -hmm. this building so not only is this the here and now but the potential mm -hmm. uh for growth is is there and you know in the earlier part of the interview you was talking the Kubila was talking about uh, how things can how God can bless you with something mm. even though you may not necessarily have the resources or even know how it's going to come and I always talk about the radio station I said when we started KLEK I didn't have any money didn't have the best credit score you know and this was a $30,000 project but to start to start not to sustain But you know, it, but this is not about KLK. Right. But I'm just saying. Uh, but here we are, almost four years later. So mm. you know, if you, you know, remain faithful and steadfast, you know, God will provide 
or as you always tell me, what God ordains, he finances. Yep. Yep. So now we're in the church. We don't got to pay rent. We don't have to worry about the electric bill. We don't even have a phone bill. We're offering to pay for long money. He won't let us. Can we pay some of the electric bill? He said, no. That's not what God told me to do. So here's the crust of the message today, folks. If you are faithful with the things God gives you to do, he will make sure what you need to do, what he sent you to do, is done. And Even if he has to send people you don't know to do it with you. Well, you know, again, thinking about KLK with the First National Bank Tower mm-hmm. that was sent you know, for us to be able to continue to broaden our message and spread the gospel. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and let a little cat out the bag. Uh, coming around about the 1st of January, New Life Empowerment brought... Ministry is going to have a radio broadcast on Sunday, so mm. going to st- still still working on the times that uh, that we're going to do that. But it will be, but starting first of next year, every Sunday you will hear New Life Empowerment on the radio. So, Reverend Oates, we got about thirty seconds. Yeah. Um, well, actually, before we get into our outro, so once again, just let the listeners and the viewers know how you're feeling. And I'm was- I'm excited. This is a serious testimony. Revelations 12:11 says they overcame him by the word of their testimony and the blood of the Lamb. What I'm sharing with you is, is testimony, what God is doing for his ministry. It's not about me. It's about him. So here's what it means. If you will believe God and do what he tells you to do, he will take you to where you never imagined in your life. I'm done. Absolutely. 3619 Willow Road. 3619 Willow Road. Is the address. Sunday school is at 10 o'clock a.m., Service starts at 11 o'clock. And we're marching in at 10.55. Marching You're going to wear a nice suit? Well, it's first Sunday. We're doing communion. So we're yeah. doing communion. <laughs> and I think the start on the first Sunday, I think, is... Uh, it's divine. Of course, you know, you just said something in service that resonated with me. You said the end of the matter is better, better than, than the, the beginning. beginning. And Amen. so think about it. We're approaching the end of 2018. Amen. And Amen. New Life we're Empowerment we're Ministries has a new facility. So. Amen. Amen. Man. God bless you all for listening. Well, we got about we got about a minute forty five left to filibuster. So, oh, okay. Uh, Brother Cobb's left some messages. What did he say? <laughs> well, the first one he was said, "Won't he do it? Hold my mule." That's how I felt yesterday. What did he say? <laughs> hold my mule. He oh, said, hold my mule. <laughs> Why last time? Isn't that the song where she said greens, beans, potatoes, yep, tomatoes, yep, chickens, turkeys, <laughs> lamb? No, <laughs> you name it. Basically, we got light in the mood. We don't have crying and some more stuff on this interview. So. What, what else we got in the comments? Well, what? Brother Carlos said he saw the pictures. God is good. And Amen. Shout out to DeAngelis, uh, Bullard, and Adrian Everett, and Bernard says, Can I come? Of course, Bernard. 3619 Willow Road. Yeah, but you got to be here, Brother Bernard. You can't, you, can't, you can't do what you did in the studio the other day. <laughs> but we, we do invite you yeah. to join us. Come celebrate this yeah, move. Yeah, come celebrate this move of God. With us, 3619 yeah. Willow Road. And feel free to visit us any and each Sunday. We yeah. also have Bible study Wednesdays, prayer at 630 yep. and Bible study at 7 o'clock. Let, let me say this. For those of you who don't know, when you clap for something God has done, he'll make sure somebody else claps for you. If you are happy for what he's doing for somebody else, he'll do it in your life. He said in Romans 2.11, he said, God is no respect of person. So whatever he does for one, he can do for you. But if you get in the mood of being joyful for your brother or your sister, he will do better in your life. Amen. Oh, we God. will go out with that. Once again, New Life Empowerment Ministries at our new location, 3619 Willow Road. We march in at 1055. Service starts at 11 o'clock a.m. Hope to see your face up in the place. May God keep and bless each and every one of you. This is Kate, L.E.K. on a 2.5 FM. Thank you for listening to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM, a program focusing on the people working to make the Jonesboro community a better place while offering viewpoints from all sides of the issues. The views expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily